all cold out. Doggy nuggets. <laughs> What's up, guys? I've watched this porn. <laughs> okay. What's the matter? Don't do anything, okay? Right now. And you stop. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's continue this Jake Roberts rivalry. Andre the Giant and Undertaker. Are they a fucking tag team? Holy fucking shit. I wonder if that's stuck or was that just... One time, a one time thing. Let's keep asking you this. Alright, okay. Dog, guys. He's just laying his head on. What, Nugget? Okay. We're the champ, boy. I think I forgot to do something on here. Hold on a minute. There we go. What up, dude? Just started work. What up, Nathan? I just got done watching your stream. Hopefully it's not cutting in and out. I know I got this TV kind of higher than I usually do. Hold on. Let me turn it Oh, I hate fighting the super heavyweights. They're annoying. When I was Kane, it didn't fucking matter. But when I'm him, fuck, I'm going to get naked. Here we go. Come on, Yoko. Yoko Nugget. <laughs> Why don't you go lay over there, Nugget? Hmm? All right. Hopefully everything's coming in. Hold on a second. Let me check. Dot, 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 dot. Yep. Okay, we're good. Bring it. Damn. 
Oh, German. Got to pounce him here. Got to pounce him. Got to do work to him on the ground. Fuck, dude, he missed. Are you serious? Dude, I thought he was going to go for a grapple. Double drop, bitch. Yeah! Damn, and I'm back. That's the problem when you're fucking around with these big dudes. You fucking get tired quick. Yoko Monkey! Oh my god, I thought he was going to go for a vertical. I was like, holy shit. <laughs> Good boy, 90s. Does he have resiliency? Let's check. Fucker? Come on. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, super plug. Oh. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit. I guess I kind of forgot that could happen, dude. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> I wonder if that kind of fucked up what Jake Roberts was going to do. He gets another shot at the title, bro. Get the fuck out of here. A normal one-on-one? -on -one? What? All right, well, Andre and Taker ain't on the same team, though. What up, J-Chip? What up, Smiley? What up, Andrew? <laughs> the ring not reinforced for WrestleMania. <laughs> What's up, guys? I'm out here and get your ass beat, bitch.
Oh, I was gonna go grab his his uh, bag. I was hoping you could grab the grab the uh, snake. What's his snake's name? I fucking forget. Cause he sucks. <laughs> Kaka! Bust it open. Ah, uh, bitch! Come on, bitch! Ah! Right there, motherfucker! Motherfucker! Take that, you cocksucker! People are like, man, that's fucking bullshit. Man, Jake getting killed. I wonder what his overall's at, though, because remember, he's been getting his ass kicked by me. So his overall is probably really low. I'm 99 out. He kicked me in the nuts. I was going to say, I don't think there's a reversal for that. Yeah. You're an idiot, dude. Don't taunt around me, bitch. Don't do that bullshit. Motherfucker, you ain't even hurt me yet. Fuck out of here with that shit. Ugh. Payday. Ugh. He didn't even use his resiliency? You're a pussy, Jake. You're a pussy. I was waiting for him to use his resiliency, and then I was going to put his bitch ass to sleep. <laughs> Damn, bro, you're let, really letting Jake know how you feel. <laughs> What's up, Omega? Is Nugget? Yeah, he Nugget's right here. He's right here, man. Beep, 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 beep. That's it. Poor Jake. Yeah, I'm kicking his ass. No announcer table spot. We would have. But this fucking bitch wants to get beat so easily. Let's see. All right. Jake. Do we end the feud with Jake? Thank goodness Nuggie is safe. <laughs> All right, I'll let you guys see him. Let me go to my other camera. Hold on. You eat it right there. This is my puppy. Mm-hmm. It's my doggy. It's my doggy. Where's my fucking dog? Damn. Is it the Nuggy? Nuggy, uh, he wants to, he wants to do something right now, and I know what it is. I know. I don't know if the uh, the feud's gonna end, the guys. <coughs> Let me know what you guys think. You want me to end it? 
Jake Roberts is at a 79 overall. He's been broken and battered. We have beaten his ass, dude. Nuggy in his flight path. <laughs> Start a feud with Andre. That's so funny you say that, J Chip. Because I just got done saying that to uh, to Wes. I said, you know, if this were real wrestling, I'd be feuding with Andre, my old partner. That's what would be happening. So let's do it. I think you're right. Because I'll be honest, I, I don't know if the game's kind of glitching and if it's going to end that. Once you hit level 3 and the rivalry's high intensity, I'm pretty sure the game is supposed to be wrapping that up. And what you do is when you choose that final one like I was choosing, like you got an injury for 48 weeks. You get kicked off the show that you're on. And then you can have where you're automatically number one contender or the person that you beat is all the way to the bottom of the list. And you have those those decisions you can make, and those are results. So it's supposed to be like the end of the rivalry, but it's like the game doesn't know to always finish it up. It does. Most of the time, it, it finishes it up, but sometimes it doesn't, and it'll just keep going for like ever. So I don't know why they do that. So sometimes you got to end it on your own. At least they gave you the option to end it, though, because it's fucked up. But it kind of... Kind of sucks that they can't figure that out, you know. Royal Rumble. Uh huh. I mean, I shouldn't be in the Royal Rumble. I'm the champion. Seems like it plays the Acolytes music all the time. <laughs> Just dance like a fucking asshole. <laughs> we have to. I don't want to. I hate fighting the big guys. But we have to. Let's start it out at the medium and see what it does. Oh, he's ranked three in the power rankings. All right, you cocksucker. Go, bitch. All right, here we go. Why is it? Why am I getting like no choices here? Extend it. The rivalry continues until the next. What's PLE next? Like, is that a pay-per-view? PLE. Or is that the next? PLE, PLE, PLE. Player. Mm. Do level three. Like, I don't even have enough momentum, dude. It's fucked up. I don't even think I had enough momentum. You have to, like, get into the rivalry first, and you earn momentum, and then you pay for it. It's just doing it completely wrong. End it. Jake ain't done shit. Yeah, he's he's done. You couldn't beat Nuggy in his prime, Dan. Come on. <laughs> Let's be real here. <laughs> I wish they'd keep the Acolytes theme looping getting louder and louder <laughs> until the neighbors were like, what the fuck, dude? Damn. Damn, damn. Jake wasn't close to hitting the DDT. Dude, I didn't get hit by one DDT the whole rivalry. <laughs> the rivalry. The rivalry was like what? Like four months? <laughs> he didn't get me in it once, dude. It was just me beating his ass. 
He had a couple matches where he fought well, but he did not get me, and I'd block it every time. It was very predictable. That's why he'd go for that kick. It was very predictable. The thing that's scary about Andre is his special and signature are when you're on the ground. It's hard to dodge, dude, and it's devastating. So ah, I hate fighting Andre, dude. I hate it. I fucking hate it. I, I, I'm getting better at beating super heavyweights. Like, Yokozuna, I just beat his ass. But Andre's hard, dude. He's an asshole. I got a plea for you. Before they know it, you're sh strutting into the living room with the accolades team at full blast. Next time, next time me and Megan get intimate, I'll turn on the accolades theme. Is usually we put on the phone or something, you know. We put on noise, you know. <laughs> when we're in there, so I'll, I'll turn on the accolades. Bam, 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 bam. See if there's like a a video online of of accolades theme for an hour. <laughs> what? <laughs> I've done it to the uh, nitro music. <laughs> Andre turned face at WrestleMania 6 and he yelled at him in front of the entire Sky Dome. I'm the freaking boss. Thinking the mic wouldn't pick it up, they did. That's awesome. I love Heenan. Time for you to learn a fucking lesson, bitch. I gotta see what happens. You gotta be careful with super heavyweights because if you. If you if you grapple them too early, they'll push you off. Okay, so halfway I already have him. Wow, dude. Damn. Hakaka. Like that fucking bitch. Thing is, that's good. Is I'm 99 out. That's what's good. That's gonna help a lot reversing. One thing that sucks when you're fighting super heavyweights too. Is you're, you're not going to do your awesome moves. You bitch. <laughs> I love when he does that. It's like Stone Cold. Or <laughs> oh, man. That just looks like it fucking hurts. Damn it. He intercepted it. No. Get off there. Hit him. Yeah. Damn. I was waiting for him to fucking do that DDT. There's a sketch right here. Sketch. Damn.
<laughs> no big deal, just body slam him. <laughs> Ooh. Use your resiliency. Why didn't they use it? I've been beating motherfuckers like that. Bro, use your resiliency, man. That's right, bitch. Get the fuck out of here, pussy. Yeah, fuck you. Waves, bangs a dude. Pound away, pounding away to the acolytes. <laughs> Do you sing Nuggy, Nuggy, Nuggy? No. Sometimes, Nuggy. I don't really do that to Nuggy. Nice hoodie. Thanks, man. It's a White Sox hoodie. From the great Hawk Harrelson. He go. I don't even know where I got this shirt. And I've never seen anybody else with this shirt ever. I wish they had a whole thing. I mean, I know he's not in the game. I don't McMahon, like where you could side with Vince McMahon or you could go against him like Stone Cold. I fucking miss how you don't have shit like that. that shit's dope. I think something's wrong because Andre is not choosing anything. Andre should have a choice over there. Yeah, this is not right. And I literally can't choose anything. Something's wrong. Yeah, something is wrong. Let's not do anything and see what it does. I might have to end the rivalry, guys, because something's wrong. Because it, it should have something and it doesn't. Something's wrong. They should always pick something, and then you pick yours, and then it chooses one. I barely hurt him, dude. My God. It's like halfway, when you get it, this thing halfway down, you're good or something. Man, don't you wish you could have Bobby Heenan or somebody like that on here announcing? Don't you wish they had that? Or, or you could have Jim Ross and Jerry the King. I know it's not possible. I'm just saying, wouldn't it be cool, though? Beating his fucking ass, dude. Holy shit. He hasn't reversed anything. I think when you're 99 out, you're just really strong, I think. I think the game just kind of gives it to you. Because they don't reverse shit once you're 99, I swear. As he reverses. <laughs> what? Oh, shit. Ugh. All right. I'm going to say, before we get counted out, I'm getting in. His computer... Computer will take his sweet-ass time getting in the ring. Nice miss, dumbass. It's fucking ass, bro.
I bang cute guys. I slam awesome. Nope. You are too predictable, Andre. Damn it, he reversed it. Here's where the problem is. What? Got lucky there. Damn it. Uh oh, he's got a signature. See what I mean? Two fucking moves, and look how hurt I am already. You reverse that too. Dangerous spot for him to be in. Oh, I think I might have got him. I think this is gonna break the ring, huh? Is it like a finisher basically? So that's a way to end it, huh? second guys let me catch up next time dan intimidate intimate he does the bat disturb mosh pit dance music <laughs> that's that's stone cold we can do that Stand up. <laughs> you ever get mad at someone for liking another team you don't like no hell no nah. it's just sports it's supposed to be fun No, especially nowadays when I'm older. Maybe when I was a lot younger, I'd get annoyed at stuff because I was a lot more passionate. But nowadays, you just realize, like, why would you get mad over something like that? <laughs> you know? It does get a little depressing sometimes when, like, you know, you wish your team would, like, do better so that it'd be fun to watch. Like, that, that gets a little depressing. But, like, otherwise, it's just sports, man. Who fucking cares? It really doesn't bother me. Help, computer. Dan loves that short era where Hacksaw was on commentary. Oh, God. Oh. Yeah, fuck him. <laughs> Technically speaking. What's up, Cabot? With the state of AI deepfakes today, is it actually possible to have any dead wrestler on color commentary? For sure. Or dead living wrestler, for that matter, until I laws restrict it. Imagine someone programming an AI Jesse the Bird uh, Ventura to say, and here comes Chico Santana and the 47 Cousins with their flying burritos. <laughs> Acolytes theme kicks in full blast while Dan goes to down with Vince McMahon watching. <laughs> Imagine Dan programming an AI gay stone cold for a couple. Oh, hell yeah. I'm going to suck your fucking dick, and that's the bottom line, because I want to suck it. That's what Stone Cold's going to say. I'm going to brush my teeth with your dick. <laughs> I'm a macho man on commentary. Yeah, he was poor. Poor. <laughs> Bobby Heenan, Gorilla Monsoon, Jerry the King Lawler, Jim Ross. Who else? Roddy Piper was really good on the mic. Roddy Piper was awesome, as uh, especially when Bobby Heenan was there, too. We need an AI Gorilla Monsoon to say, will you stop? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, I listen. Yesterday I was watching WrestleMania. What did I have on? I was cleaning my room. I'm tidying it up around here, cleaning stuff, and I put on WrestleMania... The one with Rock and Stone Cold. There's been multiple, I know. Um, 
this one where Giant was still Paul White, but he had just hit Vince McMahon. It was such a good fucking WrestleMania, dude. Oh, my gosh. Just every match was entertaining uh, for the most part. But uh, Stone Cold ended up beating The Rock because Mick Foley came out. He was a special guest referee. But, yeah, what was I getting at with this? Um, oh, Jerry the King Lawler just had me fucking dying laughing, dude. <laughs> and they let Vin, uh, Jim Ross did the main event. He announced the main event. It was really cool. See, a lot of times when I was a kid, I didn't get to see those pay-per-views because my mom couldn't afford it. So we would watch Sunday Night Heat, and then it'd go off, you know. We'd have to, like, keep looking online to see what happens, you know. Was that real? I think so. I think so, Cabot. Gary's the man. Hell, yeah. It, it was one of uh, Val Venus's first matches. It was pretty cool. I was working on the sink, and I was sitting there dying laughing at Val Venus. <laughs> Val Venus is underrated, dude. He's awesome. The money shot. And a Hardcore Holly won the Hardcore title that night. I was really surprised. I did not pick him. I was like, oh, wow. I thought maybe Al Snow would win. But he beat Badass Billy Gunn. It was actually a good match, though. It was really good. There was a lot of good matches. Rock and Stone Cold's match was really good, dude. They had me like, I didn't even know who won. So I was like, holy shit, who's going to win this? I thought Rock did. But I was wrong. Fucking Stone Cold won, man. It was awesome. Even like uh, Giant versus Mankind, it was awesome. Usually Stone Cold isn't that hard. He's all offense. Usually. So as long as you don't let him get crazy, you can pretty much whoop his ass. Whoops. I wanted to go for a move there. Stone Cold, though, if you let him get his charisma going, dude, he gets a special and everything fast. But I can usually block his stunner because it's very predictable. God dang it. Don't do that. Move. I want you just to throw him back. Oh, good move. Probably should have rolled out of the ring. No, no, Dan, no. I should have got out of the ring. You slow the match down. Well, you can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. There's the pen. I need to slow the match down. The champ lets his shoulder up before one there. Anyone who thought this would be over quick has another thing coming. And Austin gets stopped in his tracks. Yeah, let's slow it down. Got to slow the match down. I got to heal. My shield's almost down. Nope. Locked your bitch ass. 
So he was going for his move right there. The bench, uh, the, the press. What's it called? God dang it. I was talking all that shit. Now he's reversing everything. I get him? I think I did. Yep. The bench press. That's what it is. The only thing is, I know Stone Cold's moves so well that I, they're very predictable, and I can I know when he's going for it. Is that his resiliency? Fuck that. You ain't getting out of the ring, dude. Damn it. He blocked that? Oh, you dick. Fucking special, dude. God dang it. Stone Cold's fighting well. Are you serious? Be sketchy. Got him. Yes. Stun him. Yes. Oh, he used it. I still got him. That's his resiliency. Son of a bitch. I thought he used it already. Oh. Oh, shit. Here we go. Fucking bitch. Gotcha, bitch. Mmm. Done. Uh, Val Venus was ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Remember that weird phase where the Japanese dudes were after Val? Yeah, me, Chappy, Chappy, yo. <laughs> it's just so stupid. I remember everybody, all the kids at school were like, did you guys see Val Venus got his dick chopped off? So like everybody the next week on Raw was like looking at his junk, like, is his dick gone? <laughs> the whole Chappy, Chappy, yo thing was so weird. Yeah. Usually Stone Cold isn't that hard. Until Dan enters the ring. <laughs> what up, bloody? What's up, hot stuff? Why are you still a hoodie? I, that's true. Fair question. Fair. I never thought I'd see the day when the ringmaster took on the mentor. His mentor. That's true. Sings money, money. Slammy, slammy, slammy. A dick block something. You mean a literal cock blocker? <laughs> If both of these guys were in their prime and wrestled each other, this would be a really good feud. Yeah. Your winner, Ted DB Porn say. I think I'm gonna end this feud, guys, because I think the game's fucked up. I ain't gonna lie to you. We're always gonna. We're always going to have love. We're always going to have love for Andre. Because we were the tag team champions. But we'll never forgive the decision he made. 
to become our enemy. Never gonna forgive that. You bastard, Andre. You bastard. It really sucks I can't use the raw ring. Down to South County, Georgia. You're gonna bang a dude and do it right now and give him hard time. Have you ever fucked a dude down in South County? <laughs> let's just beat, let's have a feud with Big Boss Man for nails. Justice for nails. Come on, boss man. <laughs> Come out here, boss man. Boss man. <laughs> um, let's see here. We gotta go to. Didn't I change it? Do you bang a fucking dude? What's going on with the tag team? Oh shit. We don't have them in our roster though. We need to end that. I unlocked them and now made them the Brothers of Destruction. Shit. Did Mega Powers lose the belt? Look at that fucking tag team. Who's got the belt? If you ever banged a dude down his arm. Rock and Sock Connection got it. Bang a dude. We need to try to make friends with somebody so that we can be a tag team. What is this? Multiversal Infinite Cardboard Champion. How stupid. <laughs> Will you show the ready to run? I'm gonna bang this dude. I'm gonna do it for fun. I make the rules. So come on down and bang dudes like a fool. All right. See, why is it giving me that? Yeah, I wish it let me have the raw two thousand one. I wonder why it won't. Maybe if I use it in a match. Let's just try that. I know it sounds stupid, but... Because I have the Nitro one. I have them all. So what happened? Just start fucking crying. Fast lane. How poor. <laughs> what a poor... I want this one. The Raw 2002. Yeah, like, I'll take that ring. That, that's dope. Let's just do a match real quick.
Muhammad Ali. <laughs> Let's just try and see if you use it, if it'll let me use it in my fucking universe. Like, something's, something's glitched. I have yet to watch this. Oh, my God. D.V. Austin got that weenie flossing. <laughs> Dan, it's D.V. Austin. You got the name wrong, silly. <laughs> uh, for a sec, I thought you were going to say you were ending the stream. Uh, then you said feud. <laughs> no, we're not ending it yet. How's the tutorial in the game, by the way? I have really high standards about tutorials. <laughs> You're so stupid. Oh, my God. The rock and cock connection? Hell yeah. You need to make that ass raw 2,000 times to unlock that ring. Oh, okay. <laughs> Dan's going to feel so silly when he figures out he's got the lyrics of these songs wrong. I know they probably leave it all for community creations, but to be honest, they should have so many more arenas. You know what I mean? Like, they should have way more. They should have the old Raw's War. They should have all that shit. There's no reason why it's not in this game. Muhammad Ali, dude. Like, <laughs> who's gonna win this, guys? I got Muhammad Ali for sure. <laughs> Dan's favorite theme song is Dude Love. <laughs> I was gonna start putting Dude Love in my season, but I don't want multiple. McFoley's. Oh shit! And uh, and mankind's doing really good tag team wise, so I don't really want to take him out. Is he doing the? I thought he was gonna do the Randy Orton thing, dude. That DDT. Jeez. Like why? Why is Muhammad Ali in this game? <laughs> Like, why? We know what's coming next. This guy's that cop is the place. And uh, multiple McFoley's into the Foley verse. Yeah. Because you know what the game will do. You're going to see that stuff where, like, mankind will fight dude love. You know, so I don't want that to happen. They got Dude Love is an 81. Fuck. Dude, the overalls are so fucked up in this game, dude. They're so bad. They got fucking Logan Paul. I, I, I made a whole list of people that Logan Paul is better than, according to the overalls. And I sent it to Wes, and he was just like, what the fuck, dude? Yeah, Logan Paul is better than Razor Ramon. Yeah. <laughs> Logan Paul is better than Diesel. Yeah, okay. <laughs> True story. <laughs> yeah, maybe once I use it, it'll, like, let me use it in my season or something. I, I doubt it, but... We might as well uh, try and see what happens. What up, Jesse? What's going on, man? Wasn't Ali a guest ref or something? Yes. That's why he's in the game. I know. I understand that, but it's still just kind of like, what the fuck? But I suppose one year, uh, Mr. T was in it. It's better than Bad Bunny. That That's all I got to say. They need Cindy Lauper in it. Uh, Ali's family is milking his image dry. That's why he's in this game. 
Damn, what's up? Definitely not the White Sox. Oh, I feel you, dude. What up, Chicago? How you doing, bro? Yeah, for real. Got swept over the weekend. They're fucking trash, bro. It's so bad. I'm waiting for the WWE 2K game that'll let us book Snoop Dogg versus Donald Trump. <laughs> I mean, technically, in uh, Community Creations, you can do all that shit. <laughs> but, like I said, I like it when it's really in the game, you know, not just Community Creations. Oh, he busted him open! He busted him open! Ali is busted open! I like this ring, though. That ring's awesome, dude. Yeah, that ring's fucking rad. Sorry, Nugget. Here it is. <laughs> to be fair, he'd be knocked the fuck out. Oh, dude. Imagine he'd, he'd be fucking dead, dude. He took a fucking punch like that. I mean, yeah. He'd be fucking gone. Damn, that's awesome. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can use it now. Or did it, did it glitch? Last DLC will have everyone from Pat's podcast. Really? <laughs> oh, God. The last one, though, has Mr. Perfect, Lex Luger. I can't wait to have Mr. Perfect, dude. Banging dudes, you will. Let's see. See, like, it comes up with this. That's supposed to say something. You know what I mean? It doesn't. That tells me it's glitched. You know what I mean? Like, something stupid happened. Why does NXT have all the cool... Pay-per-views. Like, what, what's, the, what's the deal with that? They got Halloween Havoc. They got In Your House. They got No Mercy. Like, what What the hell? Like, why don't you make those the main ones, dude? What the fuck are you thinking? You stupid or something? Yeah, see, I don't have it still. That sucks. Keep doing that. Let's do Halloween Havoc for a while. I don't know, dude. It's all glitched out, bro. I think my season's going on for longer than the game is expecting. Because I'm almost at 100 matches, dude. Oh, I am. I'm at 101 and 1 and 1. Too bad it's not the white cocks. <laughs> uh, they lost nine to zero today to the Braves. The Sox played the Braves already? Why are we playing National League teams? Wow. That's stupid as hell. Interleague play already? You bet it's not the white guys. If Ali is in this game, then Tyson should be too. Oh, I know, dude. Tyson, that'd be awesome. Uh, they need to have Nuggy in the game. <laughs> I still remember when Mr. Perfect was making those promos before he debuted in WWF where he threw a football one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've watched all of those. The basketball one. And they, they have all the athletes going, that was perfect. <laughs> And I think he hit a baseball and feel his own home. Yeah. Yeah. 
I think that one was with Wade Boggs. This damn game is 70 at Walmart and it's glitchy. The new Prince of Persia on rollback for 35. All consoles at Walmart. What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, the thing is, this game's definitely worth it, dude. Is there a little bit of, like, glitches in the universe mode? Yes. There always is, dude. And I think it's because of me and Wes were talking about this. I think it's because of, like, how we play it. You know, it's like, this. it's just the way that we play it. Oh, fuck, I'm facing Andre. I don't think, I don't think people really expect you to play like we play anymore in Superstar mode. It's very old school to be picking somebody and just playing. I think when you play universe mode it wants you to be in classic mode that whole time and be picking every match and changing whatever you don't like and stuff like that I, I think that's what it wants you to do you know and we're not doing that and, and I think more time and money and developers working on it is probably spent on the showcase during development my rise is probably really big my faction my GM all that stuff I literally think is all above you know even online play there's so many things you can do in this game and i think the universe mode on superstar mode is just they don't they don't fuck with it enough you know there's a little bit of things added every year like to the rivalry uh mode there's a little bit added every year every year like you weren't able to make all these decisions last year um with the uh, rivalries and stuff and there's a lot more cutscenes that seem to be added and stuff but yeah, like, um, I think that's what it is, you know? But as for, like, the glitchiness of it, I definitely wouldn't let that hinder you from playing the game. It's still really fun, dude. Like, really, really, really fun, dude. <laughs> and and it's only going to get better with updates and things like that. They'll, they'll fix some things. Um, I heard that people, like, basically put in a complaint about the managers doing too much, which I completely agree. The manager's always, like, taking off a turnbuckle or throwing a weapon in the ring or, you know, they do too much, you know. The distracting you, like, I like that. I think it's awesome. Dude, look at this fucking entrance for Andre. This is rad. He's on the fucking thing that drives, dude. It's fucking sick, bro. I don't know why... I think maybe if he has to be with Bobby Heenan to have the entrance, it's so badass, bro. Seven feet, four inches, plus pounds, more than just when it comes to glitches, usually there's going to be a patch. Yeah. Uh, this game really looks badass. What's up, Heavy Metal? I love this game, Jesse says. Glitches uh, killed the reps of Cyberpunk and Fallout. Yeah, but those were unplayable. That, that the game was unplayable, dude. It was really bad at the beginning, dude. This is not equivalent to that. Not at all, dude. Like, showcase and everything, dude, it works perfect. It works perfect. I didn't have any issues in showcase. Not one. That was just me personally. Universe always has some stuff. Always. It's just the way it is. But is it fun? Oh, hell yeah. It's still awesome, though. Like, dude, universe mode is fucking sick. For sure. Um, they'll get better. It'll get better over the years. You got to give 2K a chance to, to work out this stuff because they're always adding stuff too. But I think they, I think it's designed for you to be in that, in that classic mode where see, it wouldn't be glitchy because you're setting the matches. So if you have a problem with the match or it doesn't make sense, you would just change it. You know, it would fix it then, you know, but I'm not playing it that way. I'm playing on superstar Dude, this is an awesome stadium, dude. Holy shit. But yeah, I, I just, I don't play it like that, though, you know? This is an awesome ring, dude. Holy shit, I love the crowd and everything, too. And I want to say there's like a little bit of a filter. This is fucking sick, dude. Holy shit. Yeah, don't let uh, what I'm saying about it hinder. I, if I had to choose 
how this game is and you guys are taking it from me and you're listening to me, dude, get this game. <laughs> if you like wrestling, dude, get this fucking game. It's really good. I've been saying that for years, though. I've been saying that to people, dude. And everybody's like, oh, it's a new game. You know, we're all retro gamers and nobody wants to give it a chance. Dude, it's fucking good. <laughs> Bobby Heenan's all cringing. <laughs> This. And he tosses it back in now. Dominating shoulder tackle. This could be big. Going up high. From the top. The gun. Come on. God damn. <laughs> really just laying it in. And he goes into the ring. With the Larian. Yeah. He got whipped into that corner. Scoop slam. Making the good old WC dude, this is our ring is fucking awesome out of stamina. Did it early. Fuck. My bad. It's just a reversal. Dude, I was late. anything you're giving me no opportunities what the fuck's going on thank you dude fuck me oh shit andre's got way too much health bro i gotta do some shit Oh, dude, I hit Bobby, dude. That was bullshit. It didn't count it. Think that's your fucking bitch. Rah. Ooh. 
He didn't use his resiliency, dude? Are you kidding me? Seriously? Holy cow, dude. He kicked out, like, legitimately? There he did. Fucking bitch. Fuck. I really gotta just make sure I'm good. He's got a fucking finisher. I hate how Bobby gets right up, though. That's kind of stupid. Bobby shouldn't just get right up. Like, he should be knocked the fuck out like a stun. Kind of like when you hit... Oh! Get up, boss. No! Bunch of bullshit, okay. Come on, bro. Good shit. Be done. Come on, man. No resiliency left. It comes down to lazy developers. I don't, I don't know everyone else, but I work hard for my money. Just left over after miss tax to hell. I expect a little bit more. Sometimes the devs are under pressure to release the game on schedule, despite not being complete. For sure. Imagine if WWE released a WCW versus WCCW game or something like that. That'd be cool. Yeah, I think it is with developers, too, on here, too. I, I wonder if, if Wes is right about this. He was saying this to me. I th He thinks maybe some of the developers, maybe they're not the biggest wrestling fans, so they don't really understand how it works or what the tendency should be. They're just more game developers, and they're looking at the game, and they're just adjusting it, but they're not true like wrestling fans where they would know like, okay, in this situation, this is what would happen on the show. Like maybe they don't watch it. You know what I mean? So that, I, I get, that's a possibility, I suppose. My thing is if the, if it's broken, you know, they know the shit before they release it. Why release it? I guess they have just gotten used to being able to patch it. Absolutely. Yeah, dude, they're not going to miss a release date to, when they can update it. That's that's the new that's just the new generation of gaming. Release the shit, we'll fix it later. Which I agree with you is a terrible practice. That's not a good way to be. Not at all. It's a terrible, terrible thing. But that's the truth and that's that's how it is, right? Let's create a match. I wanna do a like a casket or something. Uh, then it, they know that us booger eaters will try to buy it anyway. <laughs> I mean, for sure, though, we're going to. Sometimes it's not the devs' call to release it, but the publishers. Well, yeah, dude, they're going to make the money. Yeah. Especially a game like this, you have to understand this game comes out every year. It's like Madden at this point. And the public buying it anyway does em embody, embolden them to get keep up with current status. It's just the larger issues in the world. Nothing gets fixed when the public still vote for what's broken. That's true. What up, Tidbit? 
Do you think when WWE goes to Netflix, Monday Night Raw will start going real raw? I don't know. Dude, their roster nowadays, it's just not as good as it used to be. It, I, I, even if they go Attitude Era and they allow them to do all this stuff, I, I don't know, man. They're talented wrestling, but I don't know if they got the characters and the promos figured out. They, there's just not goofy dudes anymore like Roddy Piper and even Stone Cold and Rock that'll make you laugh and everything. Or, or as intense as Triple H or something like that. There's just not. It's not there. These guys are, they can't do it. They can't. They, they is, there's a couple of them that are in there that are okay. But they're having to live off the shadows of The Rock coming back and helping them out so that people give a fuck about it. Um, Brock Lesnar, all the times he used to come back and shit. You know, they can't do it on their own, dude. They always have a legend coming back and helping them. CM Punk and everything. It's it's just Undertaker the a million times he came back. They always got to have somebody from our era come save their ass. They can't just do it themselves. You know, dude, in the Attitude Era, did you see, you know, everybody from the old era coming back and saving everything? Like, no, dude, the main events. I, I just watched a WrestleMania yesterday, dude. There was nobody on there from the old times. Like, Jake the Snake didn't come back and, and make and make the main event fun. You know what I mean? Like, I know there was a couple times that, like, there'd be a match with, with uh, Hulk Hogan would come back or something like that. But, you know, it was a really special, that was like a special time. Um, but they do it like every fucking year now, dude, where like Stone Cold will come back. It's like, it's the only way to make it fun because these new wrestlers just can't do it. They can't. They're just not good enough, man. They're just, they don't got it in them. I don't know. At least they don't right now. Like, dude, Roman Reigns is fucking terrible, dude. Like, you mean to tell me he cuts a good promo? You mean to tell me he's a good character? Really? Like, can he wrestle and stuff? Yeah, okay. Cool. But it's choreographed as fuck. You know what I mean? Like, I was watching WrestleMania last night. That, that X7, I think is what you guys said it was. And, I mean, dude, it was awesome. And they were just... They weren't doing all these super high spots and doing all this crazy stuff. It was just a fun match. And I was watching shit like Badass Billy Gunn versus Al Snow versus versus Hardcore Holly in a fucking hardcore title triple threat match. And it was pretty good. It was pretty good. Because Al Snow is a funny character. He's sitting there talking to his little head and everything. And then you had the New Age Outlaws with Badass Billy Gunn. He's a good wrestler. It's, He's actually decent. He has a cool character. He's he makes you want to watch it. I had to like stop cleaning and I'm sitting there watching it. Like wrestling just doesn't do that to me nowadays, man. Like they wrestle dude really good and stuff and and they do a lot of cool moves and you know what they call high spots and stuff. They do some cool stuff like that, but it's like but with their character, you don't give a fuck. You don't give a fuck about it though. It's like who cares? You know what I mean? Like why do I have to watch this match? Every time Brock Lesnar came back, though, I had to watch it, man. It's fucking Brock Lesnar. He's awesome, dude. You were going to wonder what he was going to do. He was awesome, dude. He's a fucking beast, bro. You know, so I always wanted to watch it. So I think now, this year, it's the same thing. Everybody wants to see The Rock fight, dude. You know what I mean? That's the only reason it's going to do well, you know, in my opinion. Your move was on unaffected. Your move was unaffected to Bob. Yeah, I know. It was still fun to do it. <laughs> is this a PS5? Is this an Xbox Series S? Are there any games you're looking for at MGC? I'm trying to come up with a list, J-Chip, but it's hard for me to think. Heenan removed the same turnbuckle pad tw three times. Yeah, they need to edit that. Seriously, it's bad. The, 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 the managers do way too much. They should try to distract you and stuff and, and distract the referee, and that's it. You know, they shouldn't do all that shit. I think there should be, like, a pause menu where there's, like, a wheel where you can put, like, a strategy of what you want your manager to do. You know what I mean? And one is, get me a weapon. Okay, if you want him to do that, that's fine. 
but otherwise distract the referee, do this, and then it works that meter up. But computer just goes too crazy with it, man. I think you should be able to call for it. Like, pause the game and call for it. Or maybe not even pause the game. Maybe think of something on the controller you can press that brings up a wheel of stuff he can do. And if you do it too much, he'll get kicked out. You know, and they'll remove them the manager. I think that'd be cool. Some developers on the 2K games are fans. I think they just added Superstar more to try something new. Since Universal is about making your own shows. Yeah, I like just doing Superstar where it just does it for me. Like, kind of like the old SmackDown games where you just chose a guy and you go through the se season. I love that shit. And it's never ending. I love how the universe is never ending. I love that. I think it's great. The fact that people are criticizing this game is so much shows how absolutely spoiled we are. I'm, he I t I'm telling you, Heavy Metal. I'm telling you. Because this game is awesome. I've been saying it for like three years now. Going back to the Attitude Era isn't a good fix. The writing is janky. Yep. And you don't have the superstars to do it, man. Back then, dude, the, the roster was fucking stacked, bro. The thing that's going to be different from Raw moves Netflix is that they're going to be uncensored for sure. Is Punk considered a legend? Yeah. Even though I can't stand him. Yeah, he is. He is. Jake... Jake the Snake came back to put over Stone Cold 96 King of the Ring. Yeah. Yeah, what I'm talking about, though, is did he come back in year 2000 to do a main event, you know? <laughs> like like when they called back Goldberg and they had him win the title against Roman Reigns. <laughs> Shit like that, dude. Like, what the fuck? Can you imagine back in the Attitude Era, fucking uh, Honky Tonk Man comes back and wins a title? <laughs> Beats Stone Cold. You know what I mean? Yeah, I want Jerry Lawler to come back and, and call a Braun panties match just so I can hear him yell, Puppy! <laughs> That's where the world was introduced to Austin 316. Warrior cut a great promo and couldn't wrestle. Yeah, but Warrior's character, dude. Warrior's character was everything, though. War Warrior made you want to watch the fight. Warrior made you want to pay attention to what he's doing. Yeah, he wasn't the, he, he wasn't the best wrestler and stuff. It was the character, though, and how good he was at promos and how passionate he was about it. That's what was great about it. So you cared, didn't you? You know, so that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, dude. There's more than just being able to wrestle, you know. I would say you don't really need to be able to wrestle was, was my thing. I mean, you can hurt people. That's not good. But you don't need to be able to do, like, moonsaults and everything. You don't have to do that. Like, you can, you don't need to do that to be a good wrestler. There's some very basic wrestlers that I thought were awesome, you know? Um, uh, there will never be any more good entertainment. Talent is dead across the board. Yeah, for sure. AEW was a good alternative for a few years. Yeah, they're all right. MJF's amazing. MJF, dude, best. Best guy out there right now. There's no, there's no question. He can wrestle. He has an awesome character, awesome promos. Dude is amazing, dude. He should be he should be doing what Roman Reigns is doing. If he was doing that, I'd be like, nope. Until somebody can get to your level, dude, he should keep winning. That guy should not have lost the title, dude. No way. No way, bro. He should be whooping everybody's ass, dude. That guy is amazing. He could have been in the Attitude Era. He could have been in the 80s. MJF is the shit, dude. He is. That is one guy that when he's wrestling and I see something, I always look up his matches. I always see what he's doing. I watch all of his little videos where he met people and stuff. Dude, he is the fucking man, bro. I MJF is so sick, dude. To me, he is without question the best, dude. Without, dude, it's not even close. It's not even close. I really like, uh, I really like Gunther. Too. Gunther is dope, dude. I could see it. But I think Seth Rollins is really good. I think in the WWE, Seth Rollins is your number one. He should be. I want to see a broad panties match with Stone Cold and Doink. <laughs> I decide not to come up with a list and just see what catches my eye. Yeah, sometimes that's the best thing to do. Because if you spend too much time just looking for a game... 
you can bypass a lot of other games. I want to put a lot of blame on the current state of wrestling on the wrestlers themselves. Sure, some of them can stand to improve their mic game, but lazy writing kills a lot. For sure, I guess. I don't know, though, man. It's even when they're cutting the promos they have. They're just... You know how wrestlers are really goofy sometimes? You know, they, they have a very unique personality. Somebody like Roddy Piper. He could be talking about anything and you'd be listening. You know, Ric Flair, just goofy dudes, bro. And that's what makes it funny. You know, that's what makes it entertaining. The Rock, dude. How goofy is The Rock, dude? Even Stone Cold, he's super goofy, man. He was hilarious, dude. Uh, Warriors, absolute undeniable proof. You don't have to know how to wrestle. Yep. All you got to do is be a good wrestler and just sell. That's literally all you got to do. These guys don't need to go kill themselves to get over. Honky beating Steamboat for the Intercontinental title was bad enough. <laughs> if a wrestler is struggling with promos, get them partnered up with a manager and help them out. I'm telling you. Uh, to me, they just don't watch wrestling. Watch old wrestling, dude. Just watch what they do. Dude, even people like Big Boss Man cut ten times better promo than what they do nowadays. And, and and Big Boss Man didn't say anything crazy, but he'd be yelling and screaming and sweating and going crazy. I mean, they can do that nowadays. They're just lazy. You know what I mean? They're, they're not believable when they're talking shit to somebody. It's not believable at all. Sometimes in, in wrestling back in the day, you'd think there was, like, for real beef, dude. You'd be like, holy shit. That dude's, like, dude, Triple H, man, he was underrated at promos, like... Bro, Triple H could make you feel like, dude, he really wants to beat the fuck out of that guy. You know what I mean? He was awesome. Um, a lot of writers need to learn how and when and the storyline. If things ever got get bad at work, just remember, Butch Reed no showed the house show where he was going to beat Steamboat for Intercontinental. Damn. The difference was back in those days. If Piper wasn't scripted, he was going off the cuff. Yeah. I think Piper, even with a script, though, it's how he talks. It's how he acts. It's just, he's funny. He's crazy. He's sweating. He's hitting himself. I mean, it was awesome. You know? It was fucking awesome, man. They just don't do that shit anymore, man. They don't even try. It's so pathetic, man. Yeah, nowadays it's just pathetic. Dude. Who should we go after? I'm banging on this dude and make you wanna cry. Let's uh, let's beat the fuck out of the fiend. I haven't seen the fiend at all. Xavier Woods is like, yes, where's Paige? Licking on his balls because I know it's good. Yeah. Whoa. I say they should bring back legends to teach the new guys how to. I mean, that'd be the obvious thing to do. I'm sure they try. I'm sure they do, dude. You don't really need. You don't really need them to come back, though. You have. All the footage. Just watch it. You know? Just be a fan. You know? That's why I like people like... And I... You know, I'm not too into the women wrestling, even though they're very talented. They are... They're extremely talented. Like, women's wrestling has come a super long way. Like, all those women deserve a lot of props. But, um... Bailey is like fucking awesome because Bailey's like a real fan, dude. You could tell she is. Like you could see it in her promos and stuff. They just have her. She's a good example of them having her act. He looks awesome. Of uh, they have her acting like a fucking idiot. Like she should not be a heel, dude. No, she should not be a heel. She should be a face, for sure, because that's her personality. She was an awesome face. 
Watching all this porn with all my friends. I'm a fucking watch this porn and hope it never ends. <laughs> What's up, chum? Boss man cut his post-match promos before each match because he sweat so much. Yeah. Bro, I miss the promos where they lose and they go crazy because they lost. <laughs> like, Ric Flair was really good at that. Those were hilarious. Dude, even simple promos back in the day by Mr. Perfect. It was just his character and he cut very simple promos and they were awesome, man. I thought some uh, underrated promos were uh, were uh, man. Even somebody like Rick Rude. I mean, they were decent at it. It, it, it won nothing special, bro. Making the school. The old timers are making the schools, though. I want to see George Steele job out against DiBiase. <laughs> They turned Bailey into a baby face after she won the Rumble. Oh, is she now? Good. She should be, dude. She's awesome, man. She's dope. She's face. Okay. Good, good, good. Yeah, she started as a face, too. Yep. She should be a face, man. That's her. You want to see her at her best? That's what she is. That's what she is. Man, he looks awesome. Holy shit. They did a great job on The Fiend on here. Holy shit. <laughs> the Fiend is fighting Ted DiBiase. <laughs> Nuggets. Got a prize. Mr. Perfect's promos, how many times will Kurt say perfect? Yeah. <laughs> He's awesome, dude. Mr. Perfect's great. You nugget. Nowadays, if they would just get away, too, from calling people their names, like, make them a name. You know what I mean? Make them a name. Not everybody, but some of them. Make them have a name, you know? Come up with a cool name for them. Like the one guy's name's Ricochet. Like, that's kind of cool. At least he tried. He just isn't a good character at all. He does really cool moves and all that shit, but... Again, he has, like, no character. So he's fucking boring. Like I said, I, 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 I can watch a lot of fights where, oh, this guy can wrestle. I mean, yeah, there's there's so many of them. I, I, I need characters, man. I need to give a fuck about the match. You know what I mean? You got to get me tuning in. Like, why do I want to watch this guy? I can watch a bunch of good people wrestle. I can watch that all the time. Yeah, this guy can do really good moves. Cool. Like, this guy jumps off stuff. Cool, man. Yeah, I've seen that a million times. Like, I need a character, though. You know? Ooh. You don't want to bang this dude again, but I'm going to fucking lick his balls and never, ever end. Trying to roll out of the ring, bruh? You don't want to bang this guy up. <laughs> I wish IRS was in this game, dude. I'd fucking be money ink for sure. 
I'd be porno ink for sure. <laughs> Ray Wyatt, though, he looks awesome right here, dude. I really liked The Fiend and all that stuff, too. But I will say, sometimes I felt like with Bray Wyatt, this that was a situation where I thought they did too much. You know what I mean? Like, back in the day with Mankind, they'd have him, like, you know, in his fucking... Um, good shit. They'd have him, like, in his uh, boiler room and shit, but they wouldn't go overboard. You know what I mean? He would just, he'd be, he'd be in the boiler room and you know Mankind's kind of back there and stuff. Sometimes I felt like with Bray Wyatt, they were doing too much story. It got like a little ridiculous, you know? It was like, okay, we get it. He's the scary guy, you know? Like sometimes it was kind of, at least I felt that way. I was just kind of like, geez, man. They do, they do so much. Oh, fuck, dude. I pressed the wrong fucking button. No? Did the wrong fucking move, dude. Look at this straight. Oh my goodness. You don't want to bang this guy again. And I'm a fucking lick his balls and never ever end. <laughs> really? He just fucking reversed my special. Oh, there's no uh, announce table? No Shit. Oh, it's WCW. That's why. Uh, I forgot, bruh. I don't want to slam a guy until the end. Ah, oh. pump handle, baby. Fuckers reversing all my specials, dude. Do I prefer Babyface? Um, I kind of like Babyface Mankind, to be honest with you. I do. I mean, I'd say both. He could pull off anything, but I, I yeah, I kind of liked it when he was babyface. Especially when he won the title. Oh, my God, that was awesome, dude. Damn. Straight up strangling me. I don't want to bang a guy until the end. What? Come on, guys. That was bullshit. to pick up the weapon, you dumbass. For fucking Christ. Excuse my language. Alright. 
I'm coming up there too, bitch. <laughs> it's kind of funny that you have to like wait for each other to climb up. Shut up. Resiliency. I don't want to bang a guy until the end. <laughs> Thank you, Swallow. I don't want to slam a guy until the end. I enjoy Bray Wyatt's happy, upbeat promos during his feed. I just wish he would have been naked. Damn watching Mankind in the boiler room. Oh, here he's back again, huh? <laughs> and I love Bray's theme song during the Wyatt family days. Dan's wrestling porn title. Saturday Night Slam Master. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, how do you go through the roof? How'd you guys do? How do you do that? I was pile driving him up there. Don't care about it. Okay, I bet the Tigers yesterday. <laughs> nice. Dan's theme song will be a parody of Elton John's Saturday Night. All right for fighting. It's been changed Saturday Night. <laughs> Licking on balls all through the night. Beat the smile, dude. What's up, Xavier? You guys are going to pay. <laughs> but the million dollar porn. <laughs> you too, chum. Make sure you tell me it's you, man. Make sure you say hi to us at the... Uh, Hotel, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Chum Nasty got a big ass fucking nasty dick. Guarantee it. God. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, what should we do about tag team? I know J Chip said that the only way for me to do it is just to make friends, like create a team. I just have to do this. Oh, 
What's up with the WrestleMania match one? Always bangs a dude. Tag with Georgie? No, no, we're not. We're not doing that. <laughs> Who could we tag with? Honestly, we on, stop. Stand up, a bang a dude. Bad Bunny. I'm kidding. Duke Hudson, guys. Like, these guys look so stupid. Like, it's like Mean Street Posse all over again. <laughs> the Mean Street Posse. They don't do enough with Finn Balor. They don't do shit with him. He, Finn Balor is pretty solid. George the Animal Steel. <laughs> Chum should cosplay as Luke Harper. <laughs> Dudes.com ain't nothing to fuck with. Ron Strowman can be DBS's modern Andre. I hate him, though. Ron Strowman is so fucking dumb. Snitsky 2.0. <laughs> he fucking sucks, dude. He ain't even in my season. I ain't even let him in. He sucks. Like, who is this guy? JD. He's always, like, with the Judgment Day or whatever, but he is trash, dude. Who is that guy? Who, need, who needs to go, dude, when he comes on at WrestleMania? Who needs to go, dude? Yo. <laughs> JD is on, dude. Guys, stop. Stop cleaning and everything. Let's, let's watch. <laughs> watch the match, dude. You think there's enough John Cena's? <laughs> Could have Kevin Nash or Diesel, but Diesel's already in a tag team with Kurt. Having Diesel would be pretty fucking rad. Fucking Logan Paul's a 90. Fucking stop. Oh, my. Like, stop. Literally one point less than Randy fucking Orton, dude. Better than Ravishing Rick Rude. Logan Paul. Better than Razor Ramon. Oh, my God. Dude, I could have fucking Razor, dude. Me and Razor. Wasn't Million Dollar Man with Razor at one point? At the very end? Help me out on that. I want to see Mean Street Posse versus St. Cloud Posse. <laughs> My father said you look good in them pants. I'm going to lick your ass tonight. <laughs> JD is my current favorite wrestler. <laughs> What's up, Piznat? The ultimate showstopper match. JD versus Blue Meanie. <laughs> Rick Rude versus Honky Tonk. They were together in the NWO. That's right. I mean, it'd probably be appropriate if Ravishing Rick Rude was my fucking partner. Honestly, because he's with Bobby Heenan and shit, too. The only thing is, Bobby Heenan's a little bitch now. Now I don't get along with him. 
I beat his ass last match. <laughs> Sammy Zayn. <laughs> like nowadays, that's a cool wrestler. He's he's a good one. <laughs> that's considered high bar nowadays. Sammy Zayn. That he, Seth Rollins. He's good. He's awesome. Seth Rollins reminds me of like a Shawn Michaels. He's he's good, dude. I just don't like it when they make him act like an idiot because he should be a cool ass character. Stardust. Superstar Billy Graham. Let's have him. Guys, 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 help me out here. Who is Uncle Howdy? Who is that? I thought, because I thought when Uncle Howdy was around, I thought that was just Bray Wyatt putting on a mask. Who the fuck is Uncle Howdy, guys? They have fucking Umaga. No, Yoko. Nuggy went in front doors waiting to take a dump after seeing Logan Paul rating. <laughs> I vote rude. Yeah. Uh, he was with Bray. It's his brother, Bo Dallas. Oh, it's Bo Dallas? But Bo Dallas was like a legitimate like wrestler. Whatever happened to him? It's like a f Wolfgang's like a fake ass Midian. <laughs> I carry around the eyeball. This guy seems like he could be like legit if they did something with him. Veer Mahan. He just has the look, you know. He has the look of an evil motherfucker. God, Nugget, dude, he just ripped ass. Holy fuck. Wade Barrett, poor. Man, holy shit. Whatever happened to Bo Dallas? Well, Uncle Howdy. <laughs> All right, we'll choose Rick Rude. I did feud with Rick a long time ago. They let bygones be bygones. What do we got to choose from? Oh, man. The bullies. The chick magnets. Yo, that actually worked. You guys let me know. Chick Magnets is pretty good. You have to choose one on here, too, because it's what they announced. I am a real man. The Chick Magnets. That's got to be one of them. And they coexist. Yeah. Hacksaw just came out on Raw and laid the bloodline out. That would be fucking awesome, dude. That would be amazing. That would be fucking awesome, dude. <laughs> yeah. Jeez, Nugget. God damn, dude. They tried to make that guy huge, but the crowd didn't care about him. Gotcha. She's not home. Nugget should start his own stable and call it Nug Life. He just got up. Jeez, Nugget. Nicole Meyer Felician. The corporate ministry, that's rad. Alright. Corporate, ooh, corporation, dude? 
Ah, oh, too bad fucking Vince ain't on here. I'd make the corporation with The Rock, dude. Fuck yeah. I love the corporation. That shit was rad. I would do The Rock. I would do The Rock and Big Boss Man as a tag team and then have Vince McMahon as a manager. That'd be rad, dude. The Dangerous Alliance, The Leaders of the World, Demo Ooh, Demolition. I wish they were on here. That'd be dope. Diamond Mine Disciples. Doom. That'd be a cool fucking name for a tag team. Dream Team, The Eliminators. Uh, let's go with the chick magnets, dude. That just really helps. Xavier Woods. Uh, let's see here. Just normal. Let's say Fuck it, we'll face them. I do like how you got a lot of control in this game. I'm probably going to get off here after this match, guys, because Meg's coming back home. We're going to watch something. Is the body down of there? I don't know. God. Wes is right. They just don't have Brett's face down. They just don't. There's just, it doesn't have enough, like, divots in it, if that makes any sense. Like... Yeah, they, he's right. They just don't have it. He is so right. Dan and Diaz, they're the American cream team. <laughs> Ted Diaz and Sami Zayn. Oh, God. Dan should cosplay as Jim Duggan and call himself Hacksaw Dan Tuggan. <laughs> So we're not going to have music or nothing because i got to set that all up. I just want to hear him say it. Yeah, we don't have the right entrance. You'd have to, like, make something. It's going to be different not having Andre. It's going to be a lot harder to win. Andre was so fucking good, man. He kicked ass. Come hungry and leave no man untested. The Hart Foundation has arrived. This fucking ring is rad, dude. Like, for real. It's so good. Fucking Brett, he's an asshole, man. He is hard to beat. You're probably talking about the guy in the game that reverses more than anybody. It's about establishing a new regime around these parts. You can sense the disdain before the bell even rang. Brett can't take a lot of damage. 
But boy, can he fucking reverse a lot. Hi, hey, Nuggy. Hi. What do you want? Huh? You're a good boy. Bud. Yeah, I know. I know. We'll go. We'll go do something. Just chill out. Nugget wants to, you know, do a WALK. That's what he wants. Oh! Thought he'd grab him. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I was. What? Ah, you fucking cocksucker. You reversed me. Good shit, rude. Atta boy. Damn. Fucking R Brett. God dang. See what I mean, dudes? Ah, she reverses fucking everything, man. My goodness. Oh, I hit the wrong fucking button, dude. Let me get the fuck out of here, bro. Getting set up for something in the corner. Here you go, bud. Get in. I gotta heal. Come on, man. Do good. Do good. Come on, dude. Fuck him up. He didn't even use his resiliency either. Come on, buddy. Kick his ass. I gotta heal. Don't let him tag, boy. Come on, Rick. He's got tagged. Yeah, it's all right. You, you heard him good, though. Dude, that is not what I wanted to do. Fuck, man. Son of a bitch. That hurt me really bad, dude. Bret Hart has never changed. Has he changed? I don't think so. Rick Rude is so hot. <laughs> Nugget wants to take a huge Logan Paul. Yeah. <laughs> He's a good boy. Don't do that, Rick. You're an idiot. Get in the fucking room.
Yeah, I better. I better become available for him. Oh wow, that's rad though he does that. Dude, that's super sick. I hate to say it, Ravishing Recruits in deep trouble. boy I had to do a lot of that myself. That you asking Sammy Zane makes a ton of sense. <laughs> Shit, dude. I'm not gay, but a ravaging guru could definitely make me question. <laughs> Well, guys, it's exactly 8 o'clock, which is when I wanted to finish. So, cool. We ended the rivalry with Jake the Snake. We started a rivalry with Andre, kicked his ass. Didn't last very long. Made a tag team with uh, Ravishing Rick Rude. And, yeah. We're still the champions, 421 days. Defend our title a bunch of times. Or you okay? Another chair. Another chair. Another chair. <laughs> yeah, you too, man. Have a good time. Love you too, beautiful. <laughs> I'll let you guys go. Have a good night, man. I will, Cabot. I will. I will. <laughs> <laughs>